Debbie Birch, and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism, and I'm here today with Belinda Cook, the Executive Director of the Queen Anne's County Arts Council. And the Arts Council's just, like, exploding with things going on. Um, she's going to tell us a little bit about some of the events coming up, and there's some really exciting um, events coming up. I'm repeating myself. So, yeah. welcome, and tell us what's going on. I feel like I'm repeating myself, too, but yeah. <laughs> Well, we've got our classes. I'll start with, the, with the, the normal stuff. We've got our classes going on now, so you need to go to the website. We've got a floor cloth class. Um, we can paint a floor covering, but people hang it on the wall. That should be fun. That's, that, it's, yeah, that yeah, got that, my attention. And we've got jewelry making classes, a mosaics making classes, and then we have some painting for advanced, intermediate, all ages. So our classes, you know, are good. We've got Zumbini, we've got Zumba. Right. We may change Zumbini to Wednesday, so watch the website for that because I've had a lot of calls even this morning that they'd rather have it on Wednesday. So, you know, I aim to please. <laughs> and we've got um, we've got a couple of um, workshops, that one-day workshops that we're going to continue to add to the site. So okay. we're going to really be ramping it up. Well, and you have um, one of your popular classes now is your paint your painting class. Paint brush party. Paint brush parties. Yeah, and we're getting calls to do them off site, which I'm so happy about, so we can help some local nonprofits raise money at the same time we can raise money and our starving artists they can always use the work. And so. we have we were actually hot off the press. She for just finished night. it last night, so thank you for adding it. Cherry blossoms, that's what we're gonna do on February twenty eighth. February twenty eighth. So, yeah, we've got a couple spots left, so I'm sure those phones will start ringing because that one's really, really cool. It is very pretty. And we've got fish pond, a fish pond with koi in it for March. She nice. hasn't finished it yet, you know, but as soon as she finishes it, we'll post it. And then something that really, I was I was surprised, you have some bus trips coming up. You know, we did a bus trip to Winterthur and mm -hmm. Downton Abbey tour, and it was so successful that there was a need, and I'm always responding to the community needs. So we scheduled two more bus trips. One is to the um, Brandywine Museum in Pennsylvania to see the Jamie Wyeth um, exhibit that's nice. there until April. That's March 23rd. Everything, again, is on the website. Right. And then the next one is May 4th. We're headed to Longwood Gardens. Oh, wow. So and that, that's we've tried to keep them affordable, you know, and uh, we'll see what happens. The, their space is limited. I'm only going to do one bus at a time, 56 right. people. So call, go on the website. You can reserve through the website, too. You can send me an email. And then the big, big event coming up, which is the precursor for next year's even bigger event, is the Storytelling Festival. So tell yeah. everybody a little bit about that and how it'll be expanded next year. Well, you know, this is a, a kickoff to the Storytelling Festival concept. You know, this is step one. This is our stakeholders event where we're going to need to raise the money to put on the festival. Right. So it's at Chesapeake College on April 10th from 7 to 9. Chesapeake College is partnering with us. The Queen Anne's County Department of Tourism is sponsoring with us, and so is the library. Friends of the library and the library are sponsoring as well. And um, we're going to have two storytellers come in. Um, Geraldine Buckley, who is mm -hmm. the chaplain, or was the chaplain at the Hagerstown Men's Prison, is one of the storytellers. And the other one is Tim Lowry from South Carolina. So a good mix. Right. And we're going to have an, a, an intermission in between with, like, strawberries and champagne. Um, tickets are $45, and you can go online now and reserve them. And you can also call the ticket office at Chesapeake College, okay. which is 410-827-5868. Okay, and this is all um, leading up to next year when the event's going to be expanded. And tell yes. us a little bit about next year's event. <clears throat> well, next year's events will be a couple days, and we're modeling it after the Jonesboro, Tennessee event. I was um, shocked at how big that is. Yeah, I you went know, online and looked it up. Yeah, it's it's and it's been going on for for a long time. And you know, since I started promoting this event, I've had people coming into the office saying, "Oh, I've been." I mean, just, it's incredible. <laughs> oh, I've been, you know, George Drake was in this morning, one of our artists, and I, I've been. So, I mean, <laughs> I'm getting all kinds of help from the community now as well. Wonderful. But um, it's going to be over two days, April 28th through May 1st, and it'll be at Chesapeake College, and it'll feature the gamut. I mean, kids' tent, um, cabaret tent for adults, um, ghost stories. And one of my favorite segment is the um, Legacy of the Chesapeake, Legacy of the That's Eastern Shore segment that we're trying to put together where we're going to have local watermen telling stories. Wonderful. And, um, I'm going to approach Mr. McHugh from Rock Hall, who does songs of the Chesapeake, and have some artwork displayed like our friend Jay Fleming does photography and right. chronicles the watermen. And just as a way to showcase this region and the heritage. I mean, it's very near and dear to my heart, but I think it's a really good way to 
to pull in it is what this region is all about and it'll keep people coming back for years to come maybe they'll do something else while they're in the area and and um i, I mean there's just there's so many stories out mm -hmm. there and you know just to be able to hear those you know whether they're about the chesapeake or whether it's any of the other storytellers it's very interesting and it's it's you can sit down and hours go by and oh my you gosh. know well my inspiration <laughs> for this came when i was a little kid i'm from my father and i'm hoping that he'll come to the the festival to this opening festival piece because i would sit for hours and listen to him and my uncles just tell stories yep. about their childhood and that's something i think that we kind of lost when we got Game Boy and TV yep, and radio don't talk and it's resurging I think you know mm -hmm. and I mean you know it can be anything it can be funny it can be sad it can be entertaining it can be for kids right so we're hoping with this event that we'll have enough money raised to go into the schools and provide some opportunity for the kids to experience it as well between now and the time for the festival next year so the the I'm calling it the teaser event is this mm -hmm. April 10th April 10th 7 to 9 at Chesapeake College mm -hmm. and um, this is to raise money for next year's event yeah so if you're interested in tickets Belinda said where you can get the tickets from if you're interested in being a sponsor oh, yeah. um, you know please contact Belinda at the Arts Council um, you know we'd like to see this grow I think that it could be nice for the area exactly. just from the people that can draw in so it's great for the hospitality industry exactly I mean, be it benefits everyone mm -hmm. um, and is there anything else going on over there exciting? Oh, stop and see Love is Red, that's the exhibit that's up. It is such a cool exhibit. It makes me smile. I mean, we've got some great stuff in there. Lee Brooks has a piece in there. Um, well, actually, she has a couple pieces in there that are just, they're so funny. I mean, they're just great. And then Sarah Lyle's got something in there. George Drake's got something in there. Jonathan Shaw's. We've got a lot of our local. Uh huh. But it's something for everyone. We've got Beds of Thorns. We've got Explosive Love Hearts. It's just <laughs> great. It's so much fun. So you that is a mix. By. It, it's so much fun. Wonderful. Okay, so tell us your hours and where you're located. The gallery is open from 10 to 4, Tuesday through Friday. But my phone number's on the door. I live around the corner. I'll okay. come and open it up for anybody who wants to look at art. Okay, mm -hmm. and you're right in Centerville, mm -hmm. um, right across, almost across the street from the library. That's right. So. That's right. All right, well, thank you for coming in. Oh, wait, I forgot. There is one. Is there something else down the road on the horizon maybe you want to drop a little hint about? Well, you know, I think that we're going to be seeing a lot more classes um, and offerings at the center that are going to be kind of collaborated with the YMCA and I. So wow. we're really excited about that. that. Really excited about that. That's Fitness classes, art classes, kids classes. It's going to be great. Oh, wow. Wonderful. Well, again, thank you for coming in and we'll have you back again in another month or so because I'm sure you're going to have a whole bunch more going on. Yeah, I got to quit talking to the community. <laughs> Thanks for having me. You're welcome. <laughs>